That was just simply a performance of dreams. Manchester United 2, Tottenham Hotspur 0. Um, that is the best game in the Ten Hag era and the best game I've seen in a long time. Um, if we're also talking about the Ole Gunnar Solskjaer era, the Ralph Randick era, it's the best game I've seen in a long time from this club. Um, wow. 2 0. It's just the way we played, though. That first half was the best goal of half of football I've ever seen. And then that second half, the amount of chances we created, but also being a little bit more clinical with them. I feel so bad for Marcus Rashford with um, Hugo Lloris playing in arguably a mega match performance against. I mean, Lloris was magical. Um, but, you know, he did like in two goals. He still was probably Tottenham's best player because the Spurs were shit, but it doesn't take away from the fact how good we were. And that's probably what made them shit a lot of the time. Let's get into this because De Gea is between a six for a seven for me. I'm going to give him a seven. Um, his distribution was actually really good. Um, not with his feet, but mostly with his hands. Um, his distribution is phenomenal. Um, yeah, I, th I think he made one pretty good save, but he kept the clean sheet, and um, I think he just did his job. And I think he did a little bit more than just his job, so I'll go a seven. Um, Delo is probably a seven for me. I, there's, I think there's some other eights in this game, to be honest. Um, so I don't think Delo is at that level quite, but he's, he, he didn't really do anything defensively, and when he did, he did it. Um, quite a calm job from Delo. His offensive um, link-up play with the midfield is just absolutely superb. He's he's learnt to whip in crosses like something we've never seen from guys like Juan Bissaka. So Diogo Delo, he is just doing his job week in week out, and um, he's turning into a real staple of this Manchester United side. Rafael Varane. I think I'm gonna give Varane a seven and Martin as an eight. I think there was one centre back better than the other. I think Varane's a general down there. He's a brick wall. It's very rare a team gets past him. And um, these two have been staples in um in, in the wins, such as the Liverpool Arsenal and now this game. Um, Varane brick wall. Martinez, his clean up work. His he's just a I mean these two. Uh, it's disrespectful actually to give Varane a seven. I think he also gets an eight. These two just have Son and Kane in their pockets for the whole game. Two of the best goal scorers in the Premier League. These two just clean them up no, like nobody's business. Um, Varenga Martin has taken a bow, honestly. Uh, Luke Shaw, I'm going to give a 7 as well. I think everyone's getting high scores today. Um, yeah, I, I, I liked him. I think I, I, I was fucking really critical of team selection when it came out before the game. I, I had no idea what we were doing. Um putting Luke Shaw in over Malassia in a game like this, having Fred starting in the midfield, um, having having Sancho start even. Um, yeah. Shaw's a seven because I, I think I think not only offensively was he much better than usual today, defensively he was back to his old best and that Luke Shaw staying in the starting eleven and is not getting back in for the time being, if Luke Shaw continues to play like that. And I think it's a real luxury for Ten Hag that he can rotate his left backs like that. I think we'd love a right back situation like that because one Basaka is if Delo goes, and I don't think we really want to be rotating one Basaka. Um, and then the, the, the centre backs on uh, Maguire is an interesting deal, and I can probably trust Lindelof, but not as much as Marta goes in Varane. Um, yeah, we've got a real luxury at left back of rotating Shaw and Malassia and. Um, and when Tellers comes back next season, if he can get back to his best. So, uh, yeah, Luke Shaw's a seven. Um, Casemiro, he, he's going to be a nine in my man of the match. I don't give nines very often, especially not to defensive midfielders. But just covering that back four, the grit, determination, clean ball usage he showed. I think this clean sheet, I think Martinez and Varane have a good part to do with it. I think De Gea has a decent part to do with it, but it's Casemiro. He gets Casemiro, and I'm going to give a little bit of the credit to Fred as well. As good as he was offensively, he was also very good defensively. The way Casemiro protects the back four and dictates that midfield. We've been stuck with McTominay for so long. Um, he's hit a little patch of form, but there's, and we thought McTominay was sorted for this season. But I don't think um, we, we realise the difference between the good and the best, because Casemiro is the best. Fred, does he get an eight? I think he probably does get an 8, Fred. I mean, coming off such a bad game against Newcastle, to then go and put in that sort of performance, he kept the midfield rolling, he scored a goal, his energy, desire is what kept that whole team moving, his ball movement and some of his passes were absolutely phenomenal, Fred's an 8. Um, Bruno Fernandes, he, for me, gets a... I'm going to give him a 7. 
I'm giving him a seven. I think a seven. I, uh, it's disrespectful. It's like the Varanga Masking, I think. It's disrespectful giving one an eight and one a seven. I think they both have to get eights. Um, they both... I mean, bro, it pisses me off some of his little back heel passes a lot of the time, but bloody hell, he made about 10 of them, and they were all phenomenal and made really good usage of the ball moving forward. They weren't, he didn't make it really any pointless passes today. He always kept the ball rolling. He scored an absolutely cracking goal, and he was vital to a, a game where, for the first time in a long time, we dominated the midfield with Casemiro, Fred, and Bruno. Anthony, I'm going to give a 7. Unfortunately, he didn't score a goal, but he deserved one. Um, he's an entertainment machine. He creates so many chances. And another great, um, a great outing from Anthony, showing what he can do and what he's capable of. I'm going to give Sancho a 6. Um, he was, yeah, probably definitely the weaker one um, on, the, on the pitch today for us. He just couldn't really find anything, but it wasn't the game for him. He didn't really need to do anything. Um, did his job, I guess, but didn't really bring anything to the table. Uh, Marcus Rashford, I, I'm going to give him a 7 because I feel a little bit bad. I feel a little bit bad because he, as much as he needs to be a little bit more clinical as a striker and he's better off the left wing, I think Hugo Lloris putting in that good a performance is absolutely a monstrosity. Um, Lloris has Rashford covered all day, but I don't think it was Rashford's fault. I think it was just the case of Hugo Lloris being world class. So yeah, I'm going to give him a 7 in a little bit of piggy. Uh, McTominay 6, didn't see him. Um... Eric Singer Langer 6. Ten Hag, I was, to be honest, I was expecting to game, give him a tour of three at team selection after team selection before the game, but nine. I don't see how Ten Hag doesn't get him on. Um, I mean, <laughs> team selection, I've got to applaud him beyond belief. I don't know how you, you select a team against Tottenham, having Rashford up top. Starting Sancho, not starting Ericsson, starting Fred, starting Luke Shaw. I'm not sure how he picked that, but he must have seen something in all those players that we didn't see before the game because team selection was a monstrosity before the game and it turned out to be phenomenal and it's an Eric Ten Hag masterclass. Um, it wasn't his sort of performance where we dominate possession 70 to 30, but it was more of a... Um, it, it, not only did... Uh, uh, the, the pressing we showed today was a glimpse of Ten Hag at his best. It was a real glimpse of um, Eric Ten Hag teaching these players the ways of a real local Dutch football that we've seen from a lot of Dutch managers. Not much so Van Hal. I don't think he really brought a lot of this real high press to his game. It wasn't really his era, but it was more... It, it, it's Ten Hag that's shown a real foreign style of football to these players that we are getting so good at in the Premier League. Are shaking in their boots about it because we didn't bring our best to Man City. Um, but we did bring our best to Liverpool and Arsenal, and we brought our very best to Tottenham. And uh, I think Ten Hag deserves a round of applause for this performance. Submit my vote. I'd be shocked if Casemiro wasn't man of the match. He is with 31% of the vote. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time for another United video watch along. I'll actually be live for three games this uh, Saturday slash Sunday. I'll be live for Forest versus Liverpool, Brighton versus Man City, and Chelsea versus United. So see you then.